Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello and welcome guys. This is Moina from KRSSG IIT Kharagpur. And today I'm going to demonstrate a very interesting application centered around Bluetooth and Arduino. So let's get started. So for today what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use a smartphone to com communicate with the Arduino Uno over Bluetooth. How we are going to do that is with the help of this HC05 Bluetooth module that takes Bluetooth commands from the smartphone uh, through the BT display app uh, that you will get readily on the Play Store. Uh, it transceives those uh, Bluetooth uh, signals and converts that into serial data that is sent over the UART port to the to the Arduino Uno, which then acts on those commands uh, to uh, uh, to trigger various GPIO or general purpose input output pins for so for uh, interacting with peripherals. So you can imagine what all you can do with this uh, setup. Uh, today, what I'm going to demonstrate is just uh, simply blinking an LED and operating certain loads uh, with the uh, by triggering the GPIO pins. So let's get uh, right to the circuit. So uh, we'll start off with a simple circuit actually. Uh, and uh, let me remind you that uh, in today's uh, in today's project, we are not going to use any hardware. You heard that right. We don't need any hardware for that. We are going to use this uh, very cool software called Proteus. Uh, I'm using the Proteus 8.6 uh, professional version. So uh, you can see this, uh, this is my Arduino Uno, that board that I wired up uh, to my HC05 module through the UART port. Now how this is happening is uh, that uh, you can see uh, that uh, the, the RX and TX pins of the HC05 module are wired up to the TX and RX pins of the Arduino. Along with the HC05 module, you can see that I've also wired up uh, an LED lamp that is connected to pin GPIO pin number 3 of the Arduino. Also, I've used a virtual terminal display uh, on the RX and TX lines to see what, what actually what serial data we are sending from our smartphone uh, to this HC05 module. So let's get to the next step. The next step is connecting both the devices uh, over Bluetooth. So we have to connect our smartphone to the laptop which I'm currently using or your personal computer. So for that uh, you can see I'm using screen mirroring over here. Uh, I, this is my smartphone over here. The first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to turn on the Bluetooth. Similarly we are going to do that for the laptop or the personal computer as well. So once uh, this Bluetooth is turned on, you have to select the device to which you want to connect to. Uh, not sure why that didn't go through. Okay. So yeah. So select the device that you want to connect to. You can see now it's connected. The next step. Uh, oops. Sorry. Yeah. So now it's connected. Yeah. So the next step is uh, understanding the Arduino code that we are going to use. So there are two things that you need uh, for the circuit to work. First is the circuit obviously and then uh, it's the Arduino code that you have to put into the Arduino to uh, make it function as you desire it to. In our application what we need to do is we need to process the signals that are coming in through the UART port and based on that we need to trigger the GPIO. You can see in the uh, setup uh, module what I've done is setup function. Uh, I've defined the pin number three as an output pin, uh, which is uh, again connected to the LED in the circuit as you can see over here. And uh, then what I've done is uh, I've uh, enabled the serial communication so that I can read what is coming on through the serial port. So in the, the uh, loop is pretty simple to understand. Uh, we are constantly polling uh, whether there's a data available on the serial line or not. If it is available, uh, we are feeding all the data into an uh, into a string variable uh, over here. It's input. So as soon as the last letter we receive is N or F, which uh, like 
in this application what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to uh, turn on and off an led lamp on the basis of light on and light off commands so the last letter is n and f respectively so we are just uh, so this is a very simple algorithm to determine uh, what command we have actually uh, sent to uh, uh, this uh, uh, hc05 module through our smartphone app so as you can see uh, if the last letter is either n or f then we trigger uh, the turning on or the turning off of the led so it's pretty simple so now that we know we have understood the code i'm going to compile this now this step, this step is really important so once uh, you've compiled your code at the end you'll uh, get this message regarding the program storage space that your program occu actually occupies so you what you have to do is uh, move two to three lines above this uh, prompt and you will be uh, you will uh, find the path to a dot ino dot hex file please note the extension dot ino dot hex file hex files are used to program avr microcontrollers we are not going into the details of that so let me just copy this and what we are, have to do is we have to program the uh, arduino that is inside proteus virtually how we are going to do that is by uh, left clicking on this arduino board and in this program file entry we are going to paste whatever uh, hex file we have generated from the arduino id leave all other settings as it is the next thing is uh, setting up the bluetooth communication we have already established com bluetooth communication between our smartphone and uh, the computer so the next thing is uh, setting this up now the only thing we need to set in this uh, is the baud rate which is uh, the same baud rate that we have set, defined in our arduino code also uh, where is that yeah so we have set that baud rate as 9600 so we have to uh, repeat that over here also the other important thing that you need to understand over here is the physical port the physical port is the com port or the virtual serial port over which uh, the bluetooth communication will take place we don't need to understand the details of this is as it is quite complicated it is related to device driver theory which i don't want to burden you with so uh, let we we'll find out how we actually get this com port so after you have connected your device which is in my case is my smartphone as you can see over here we will connect it once again so once you have connected this the next thing you need to do is set up a virtual com port for that you have to go to more bluetooth options over here you will go to the com ports tab and click on add it will take some time to add a virtual com port which will emulate the uh, serial port in your uh, computer actually so while that is going on we can okay while uh, that is being set up we can uh, set up a smartphone so what we are going to do is uh, we can go to the play store app and we can download the bt display app you will find the link in the description below for now i have already installed the app and let's fire it up yo so uh, first thing is that uh, we need to scan for available devices now before uh, we move to this step we have to set up the com port so we'll see uh, if it's ready or not yeah so uh, you'll get this add com port option what you have to select the incoming uh, port option over here and and click on ok once that is done you will see uh, a new com port that is generated like that com port would not be present initially in my case i had all these ports uh, on my uh, system already but here you can see the system has generated a new virtual com port that's com26 this is the com port that i need to enter in my hc05 uh, settings okay once we are done you just need to click on play
after you click on play you will be greeted by this virtual terminal uh, that will show whatever uh, serial data you are sending through your smartphone uh, till now we haven't sent any data so you won't see anything but just wait for the magic to happen here so uh, we have uh, already got our proteus simulation running now we can connect to our system so we press on the system yeah so you get if you get a connected green colored connected tab then it means that your connection is successful now we can start the show so for that um, for in our case we have decided the commands to be light on and light off so let's try that after uh, entering whatever you want to enter just blend, uh, just press send text now uh, when I do that, please uh, note the status of this uh, LED over here and the virtual terminal. As expected, uh, you can see uh, the on the virtual terminal, we can see uh, we see uh, find the uh, text light on and our LED has also lit up. Next, what we are going to do is uh, send the command light off to turn it off. You can see it works like a charm. For the next part, we are going to do something much more interesting than just turning on and off an LED. What I planned is uh, to control a DC motor and an AC lamp along with the LED lamp. So let's get started. First, I'll explain to you my code. Uh, I've set the output pins of the Arduino as 5, 4, 3, 4, and 5. And I've set the serial communication also. The uh, other parts of the code are basically the same. Uh, there's nothing quite special about any part of the code as such. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the code has actually been reused. Uh, initially, we only had this part, so I've added new sections for the lamp and the motor also. So let's uh, look at a circuit. A circuit is uh, basically the same. I've just added these relays for uh, uh, for obvious reasons because uh, the Arduino Uno can only drive up to a maximum of 40, around 40 milliamps of current, and a DC motor draws much more than that. So it's not practical to uh, control a DC motor through, from the output pins of an Arduino. The same goes for an LED which uh, draws a large amount of current and the AC lamp which works on is an AC supply. So anyways it can't be operated through the Arduino. So the relay also serves as isolation which is very important in uh, such applications. In, in this case also we are going to we are, have set up the virtual terminal and uh, we have our HC05 module which we set to COM26. Now that we are done, we can click on play. On the phone, we can set up a new session because uh, we have ended uh, the other session. So we need to start a new Bluetooth session to for this uh, session. Whatever. So let's start off by turning on the motor. So I'll enter motor on. We start off by sending the command motor on. The motor has indeed turned on. Now we'll turn on something else. We can turn the, the AC lamp on. For that we'll send the command lamp on. As you can see my AC lamp has actually lit up. Next I'll try to uh, turn the motor off. As you can see, the motor has stopped. So indeed, our application works perfectly fine and we have achieved what we had set out to do. So this is all for this project. That's all folks for this time. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed yourself. Please like, share and subscribe this video and please stay tuned for other such videos on IoT, home automation, embedded applications and so on.